Hello friends, Shayla here. So I am here to talk to you about some manga series that I am excited to start in 2019. So in this video I'm going to talk about series that are kind of on my radar that either I want to pick up or I have like the first volume that I picked up recently that I want to delve into in the upcoming new year. I don't really want to start any new series until the new year, though I might just include anything I might read in the next 10 days or so as 2019 manga reads. So, because I've already done my favorites video for 2018, I will leave that linked for you in case you haven't seen that yet. So let's go ahead and dig right into the things I'm excited for in 2019. The biggest one I'm excited for, but I don't have any, I haven't picked up any of the volumes yet, is Tokyo Terror Reba Girls. So this is from the creator of Princess Jellyfish, which was one of my favorite reads this year. And I really love the art style because it's the same as in Princess Jellyfish. And I love that it's more of that Jose style geared towards women. These are about 30 year old women and their adventures. I am really just kind of stoked to get started on this series. I've been seeing it float around for a little while and I'm like, I really need to pick this up. Everybody's loving it so far. So it just needs to become part of my collection just because it's going to make my heart so happy. The next one I've got here, I picked up just a day or two ago when my husband and I were at Barnes and Noble and it's a complete series. It's only two volumes long and that is Nappy Princess. I've been seeing this one floating around a little while and it's a short, quick little series. So I figured, what's the harm? So I'm just gonna read you the back here. It says, when Kokone sleeps, she dreams of Heartland, a place full of technology and warring machines, where she's Princess Ancien, A-N-C-I-E-N, Ancien? I'm not 100% sure on that pronunciation, who possesses magical powers. But when her dreams and real life start to intersect, Kokone start, finds herself running from bad guys in both worlds. Will her dreams provide a way out or land her in even deeper trouble? So I think this is just going to be a fun, quick little thing. I almost wish, because it's not that long, I wish they would have just published it in a one-shot. I think that would have been smarter, personally. But, you know, here I am. I picked them up, picked both of them up anyway. So anyways, I think it's going to be a fun little short series. I like to explore short series and I have videos dedicated to short series I've read. I need to do a new one soon because I've read a bunch more. Next up we have The Demon Prince of Momochi House. Now when I see this cover initially I get Kamisama Kiss feels but the story feels very similar. So again I'm going to read the back. It says on her 16th birthday orphan Himari Momochi inherits her ancestral estate that she's never seen. Momochi House exists on the barrier between the human and spiritual realms, and Himari is meant to act as guardian between the two worlds. But on the day she moves in, she finds three handsome squatters already living in the house, and one seems to have already taken over her role. So this really does give me some Kamisama Kiss vibes in a lot of ways, just in a slightly different manner. So I really think I'm going to get along with this because I adore Kamisama Kiss. And, you know, clearly we have... A kitsune here on the front. So yes, I I think this is gonna be my jam. I am so excited. And I know that it's fairly long so far. I think it's got 11 or 12 volumes out already, maybe more. But yes, this is one I'm really excited for. Next up we have Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle. Now, it just kind of from the cover gives me vibes of some of my favorite series of the year like Water Dragon's Bride, or Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts, or Ancient Magus Bride. I'm kind of getting those vibes from this, so let's go ahead and read the back. Kidnapped by the Demon King and imprisoned in his castle, Princess Cialis is bored. Okay, I'm not going to read anymore, but I think this is going to be full of shenanigans, trying to keep this sleepy princess entertained, and I think it's going to be a good time. Next on this list is another one I've been hearing a lot about, and that is Silver Spoon by Himaru Arakawa. Anyways, I know I've read this manga cup before and I really liked what I read. So that was a big reason why I wanted to pick up. Everybody else has been talking about this a lot. So if I'm remembering the description correctly, we have this kind of spoiled rich kid who somehow ends up in this agricultural program at school for the summer, I think. 
chooses to leave the city and enroll in Uizo Agricultural High School. So he enrolls in, he chooses to enroll in an agricultural high school. So I think it's going to, again, be full of shenanigans, but I think there's going to be some good, like, character growth and stuff as well. I think it's just going to be really fun. If you've read Silver Spoon, definitely let me know. Next up is one that I have, I've been looking for more Jose series that are kind of newer to try because I've read a few different Jose series this year and ended up really liking them. I stumbled across this one, which is Moteki Love Strikes. And in this, we are dealing with this 30 year old man who's not ever been lucky in love. And all of a sudden, all these girls from his past kind of come out of the woodwork and things ensue from there. So I think this is gonna be a good time. There are people in my life that I can kind of like put into this scenario and I think I'll be able to enjoy it a lot for that reason. <laughs> but anyways, I am very much looking forward to getting into this particular series. I know it's got two of these big omnibuses out. I don't know if that's the completed series or if there's more than that. I'm not 100% sure, but I really like the art style in it. I think it's gonna be a really good time. So I'm way excited. And last but not least on this list is a story that I'm already very familiar with. And that is Aohara Ride or Blue Spring Ride for those of you who have watched the English version of the anime. So Aohara Ride is finally getting an English publish. I picked up the two volumes that are out already. I think they're going to come out fairly quickly here in the U.S. But it's so beautiful, guys. Like, the art style is just so lovely. I am so excited that we're finally getting a manga series for this. Like, I have been waiting for this for so long. I've been hunting for it for so long because I was curious because I felt like there was more to the story than we got in the anime. So I wanted to know more. And maybe we don't. I don't know. But I want to know more. So here I am with this in my hands and I'm so excited. So I'm not going to tell you too much about this. Go look at it yourself. This is definitely shoujo, romance, high school. That's all I'm going to tell you. Other than that, I'm going to let the rest be a surprise because I adore this series and the story so much that I don't want to give anything away. So that's just what I'm doing in this video. Go check it out yourself. All right, friends. Those are the series that I am really excited to start and get going in 2019. I will continue the ones that I am already in the middle of that you guys hear me talk about in wrap-ups and such. So I'm not planning on stopping anything. I'm not dropping anything. But these are ones that I am just genuinely excited to start in 2019. So thank you for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Shay. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and click the little bell icon so you know when to come hang out with me. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.